Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17, Newcastle United Road to Glory Career Mode. This is Season 3, Episode 3. In today's episode, we have two huge matches. The first of which is against Liverpool on the 29th. And then we have a match against Arsenal on the 31st. We only have one day's break, which is quite insane. I don't think I've had such like crucial fixtures back-to-back, -back, like two very important matches in quite quick succession. Like if we were playing against like, I don't know, a lower, a lower mid-table team would be fine, but we're facing two teams that should be in the title race. So we have two home matches, the first of which is against Liverpool. Um, Daniel Sturridge will be facing his former side. So we're currently first in the Premier League, only six points clear of Tottenham. Man City third, Everton fourth, Man United fifth, Crystal Palace sixth. Stoke City look like they're going to get relegated in Season 3, which is insane. Simply because they did lose Arnautovic, I think. We did sign Jack Butland from them. And Shakiri left to join... Uh, who was it? Uh, Liverpool. Actually, might even play in this match here today. Hull, West Brom are down there as well. Liverpool are 13th. Chelsea are 9th. Uh, Arsenal are 8th. Leicester are 7th. So, in today's match, we're going to be playing the 4-3-3 narrow or the 4-3-2-1, whichever you prefer. Ronaldo is going to be leading the line. Eden Hazard on the left. Messi on the right. Yuri Tillemans at the cam. We've got Kante and Barati. Man, he saved them. <laughs> he was the hero in the last episode. Saved the day. Florenzi is going to be my right back. And Bemba, the captain, along with Zuma. Destiglio, Jack Botland. Hernandez, Daniel Sturridge, Sado Barahino, John Joe Shelby, and Oxford and a couple of others on the bench. I'm actually going to bring on Bujtaba for Mitchell, just in case we need him. He's come back from his injury. Okay, let's hope for some favourable weather conditions against Liverpool. So we're playing at home. We're going to play in our home kit. They're going to play in theirs as well. At St. James's Park. On legendary, it is overcast. Thank God. I, I just, I just hate playing in the rain and the showers. I'm sure you guys are 100% sick of me banging on about the weather, but it really, really does just make the gameplay not very enjoyable. So let's get stuck into Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool here today. Okay, guys, welcome to St James's Park. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's going to be interesting to see who Jurgen Klopp fields here today. Messi in the Newcastle kit. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to be the top goal scorer. It does look likely he is going to be. But I have been, yeah, I have been complaining about the team selections for the other sides because, like Paul Pogba didn't play against United, a couple of others as well. Um, it just, I just feel, like, especially with Manchester City, they didn't field Sane company. Oh God, what is this? And they didn't field Sane. Aguero and company, and they brought them on in the, um, the late half. So, I have no idea who this front three is. They look like Youth Academy players. Stewart, I, I recognise him. They do have Gary Medell, the former, the former Cardiff and Inter Milan man. They've got Hard at left back, Randall at right, Williams and Ragnar Calavan, the Estonian, and Mingle. Only three first-team players. Okay. I think this could be a a route against them. Can I just quickly just look at the other team? So Mingle is only 78 rated. Yeah, these guys look all Youth Academy apart from three. Wow, that's um, ambitious from Jurgen Klopp. He doesn't seem... I don't know if he's picked up a heaps of injuries or hasn't brought anyone in, but they are playing a youth team, essentially, apart from three players there. They're also playing Mingle, not Loris Currier. Florenzi. Finds Messi. He should be able to beat this. Oh, Hart with a great clearance. But Newcastle on the attack here. Messi. Trying to find Eden Hazard. Okay, Ronaldo's going to get to it. Oh, Mingale with the punch. It's going to fall to Florenzi. Then Berardi hits it. Oh, just wide. Not a bad attempt on the right foot, to be fair. But it's still nil-nil against... Well, essentially, Liverpool are playing their youth team here today, which is... Interesting. Yuri Tielemann's breaking away. He should convert this. Mingale. Oh my god, Kurt Zuma. That is terrible. That went to the linesman. You've got to be doing better than that. Messi on the ball. Finds Ronaldo. 
Yuri seems to get played. Oh, Eden Hazard here. Cool, calm and collected. Convert this. My God. The two Belgians combined. And it's still nil-nil. Yuri finds Eden Hazard. Pops it into... Messi's not going to win that. De Stiglio with the throw in. Finds Messi. Florenzi's up on the pitch. Oh, that's a nice. That's nice. Come on. Oh, why'd you back away, Eden Hazard? If Yuri can go, it's going to be fine. And he does. He somehow dinks the post and it nicks in. That was a great run. But I kind of feel like I wouldn't have scored that type of goal if we were facing the Liverpool first team. Okay, so that was fascinating. That was Yuri Tillemans only just got on the end of that with a great right-hand shot. It looked like Eden... I was going to feed it to Eden Hazard, but then he, like, tracked back and um, sort of dummied the, rum, uh, the uh, runner a little bit. But we're 1-0 up against Liverpool's youth team. Jürgen Klopp. Not entirely sure <laughs> why he isn't fielding his first team still, but uh, Eden Hazard finds Kante. He gets nearly closed down, but he tries to get into the box. It's going to be a corner kick, hopefully, for Newcastle. Yep, it is. We'll get Yuri just to bomb it into the box. I reckon we could outheader some of the youngsters if we can get a good ball in. That's a great save by Mingale. Eden Hazard! Whew! That was close one. That was really, really close. Look at that shot there. That's not a bad attempt. That is not bad. I should have probably gone for a finesse. We might have actually converted that one. What a shot against Mingale. Ronaldo, Messi. Okay, guys, it's currently half time at St. James's Park. It's one, we're one nil up, uh, which we right, yeah, we, we we definitely should be. You got to give it to them though. They did have two shots to one on target. We've had eight to three. We really should be running away from this match. But like I said, Liverpool are playing their youth team. They're not actually doing too bad. De Stiglio finds Lionel Messi. He's got Ronaldo in the box. Come on, Ronaldo. With the bicycle kick, we're 1-0 up against Liverpool. What a sensational goal there. Messi whips it in. Ronaldo with his left. I think Ragnar wasn't tracking him there, though. But we are 2-0 up. It was against Mingale, too. Ronaldo with the bicycle kick. The number seven. Wow, Messi and Ronaldo combined. And Ronaldo scores his fifth goal of the Premier League. He's still got it. The man in his 30s. Whoa, a red card for Genie Wijnaldum facing his former side. Get off the fucking pitch. What was that for? Oh, he lost it and then slide tackled into Florenzi. I wasn't even focusing on after I got it from... Uh, Zuma, but they are one player down now. Should I do a substitution now that the ball's out of play? Um, I think I should. Maybe I should bring on some other players and try and kill this off. Uh, I'll bring on Daniel Sturridge up front for Ronaldo. We'll bring on Hernandez, I think. We'll chuck... Actually, I'm going to bring on Berahino over Hernandez. Hernandez has actually gone down in stats. He was an 83. Now he's an 82. And that's... He's overall, not necessarily his attributes. We'll bring on Berahino, Chuck Sturridge on the left, and we'll bring on John Joe Shelby as the attacking midfielder. We're 2-0 up. We scored a great bicycle kick from Ronaldo. And now, they're one player down. John Joe has just found Sado Berahino. He should be able to break away with... Yep. Oh, should be able to break away here with his pace. I thought he would have um, converted that one against Mingale. We'll whip it into the box with Berardi. It's going to fall to Mbemba. And Gary Medel bombs it wide. Can De Stiglio claim his goal of the episode? He puts it really far wide there. We're pretty close here. Who's my best free kick taker on the right-hand side? Probably... Oh, Florenzi. Florenzi is actually better. 27 yards out. Florenzi steps up. Oh, that was close. That was a great... No, I should have... I thought I was going to go out. Randall there. I thought that was going to... Um. Oh, what? No way. You're joking. How has Florenzi gotten on the end of that? The former Roma man with the chest thump 
makes it 3-0 in the 39th. This is, this is the Liverpool youth team at the end of the day, pretty much, I said. Dinks the post again. We've been very fortunate with the goals. That could have gone either side of the post. The Ronaldo goal was pretty clear-cut excellence, but the Yuri goal could have hit the post and gone out, and same with Florenzi. Good on you, man. We're 3-0 up against Liverpool. What was that? His third goal of the Premier League. I love Florenzi. He can play in the midfield, right wing. He is so he's just such a good right back because he can push up and like take free kicks. It's it's crazy. We've got a great counter attack here. Surely we're gonna score off this. Eden Hazard breaking away to make it 4-0. He nearly does. Oh, that, that was a bat. That was an unlucky ball out there. Shakiri on the ball. Oh, Destiglio just finds Jack Butland. But this is really odd. They've only just now brought on Shakiri for the points and Monolas, the former Roma man, and also um, they got Genie Wijnaldum sent off. But wh why would Jurgen Klopp not field them and then bother bringing them on? Like, I still can't, I don't know why the AI does that. But we've claimed a, a, a really, really great 3 0 victory over Liverpool. Okay, let's have a look at Ronaldo's bicycle kick. So, Messi on the ball. Just before the 48th, Ronaldo with the bicycle kick with his left. That is sensational from the Portuguese man. Makes it 2-0 against Liverpool. Ragnar couldn't quite get back to it, and Mingale concedes. Yeah. Okay, now... Hopefully my team isn't too exhausted. We have a match against Arsenal. Florenzi picks up the man of the match with a 9.6 with a goal. Um, it was Yuri and Ronaldo picking up the other two. Ronaldo Messi picking up only the two assists for the match. Okay, let's get stuck into Arsenal now. Okay, guys, welcome to the match against Arsenal at St. James's Park. Like I said, we had the match against Liverpool on the 29th of December. Now we're facing Arsenal on the 31st. My team actually isn't too exhausted. Christian Eriksen is the top goal scorer, followed by Triore, Leon, Correa. Messi is currently fifth. Um, we're still first, followed by Spurs, Man City, Everton, United, and Crystal Palace. I don't think that changed. Now, I was looking at, yeah, I was looking at my squad fitness. Like, it's not too bad. I thought they would have been, like, in the orange. We're probably going to have to sub some of these guys off at half time, but, um, not bad. Um, I don't think we can justify bringing any ba anyone back from loan. Mane's gone up to one. Armstrong's gone plus two as well. He's a very good player. Newcastle lad as well. I wish he had a, just a little bit better weak foot and stuff. Dolberg going up in stats at Leicester. Lafont. All right, let's get stuck into Liverpool. Uh, Arsenal, sorry. Let's hope that Arsene Wenger decides to play a first team because I don't know what the fuck Jurgen Klopp was doing. Why play a um, a youth team against me when I'm like they're sitting in twelfth or thirteenth? We're about to win the prem. Like we're we are we are we are wanting to win the Premier League. We 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 are the title contenders. We managed to win it last year. So we're playing at St James's Park on Legendary. It's cloudy. Phew. Thank God it's not uh, raining or showers. It was overcast in the last bit. Cloudy, not too bad. I'm fine with that. So, let's get stuck into Arsenal here today. Welcome back to the Premier League, guys. Welcome to match day. We're going to be facing Arsene Wenger's Arsenal side, the Gunners. We are hosting at the one and only St. James's Park. Let's see who uh, Arsene Wenger is fielding. We have the kickoff. Right, so they are playing... Who the hell it? They're playing a a, a four two three one. They're playing El Suarez. That is that can't be Luis Suarez. That can't be. I'm gonna have to double check that. I don't think it is. But if that's Luis Suarez, that's hilarious. Right, Perez is leading the line. El Suarez at the cam. Danny Welbeck is right. Okay, Coquelin, El Nenny, and Campbell. Hector Bellerin, Monreal, Mustafi, um, Markovic, and Peter Cech. But no Özil, no Ramsey. No Xhaka, no Santi Gazzoli, he's probably retired, and no Sanchez. So, a better side, a better Arsenal side comparing to Liverpool. However, if they have Luis Suarez, that, that changes things, but I have a feeling it's it's not. Right, let's go through now. If that's Luis Suarez, oh, it 
No, Leonardo Suarez, and a, a player without a face who's playing in the cam. Lucas Perez is leading. Mustafi's 87 rated, Markovic is 84, so a pretty decent back line if I do say so myself. Coquelin and El Nenny aren't too bad, but let's face Arsenal here today. Hopefully Ronaldo can score another bicycle kick, and we have another great result. Danny Welbeck. Breaking down this left-hand side has Perez in the box. That's a bad tackle from Mbemba. Okay, I think we managed to get a... Oh, what? Okay, I guess um, Mbemba was jostling for position and then got a favourable, unbalanced pass off him. Eden Hazard spreads it wide to De Stiglio. That was unlucky not to get... Oh, my God, why are my players... Like, what the fuck happened then? But Ronaldo somehow finds the header, makes it 1-0, celebrates with his famous celebration. Okay, so that was unlucky from, I think it might have been Joe, Joel Campbell not to get um, the tackle off. But it looked like Ronaldo, I'm not entirely sure who, it must have been Eden Hazard, got stuck together but breaking away from a great counter-attack against Arsenal Ronaldo scores his sixth goal of the Premier League he scored in back-to-back -back match Danny Welbeck being a menace down this left-hand side and Bemba's trying to get to it but he couldn't he put everything in it the captain but it's going to be a Arsenal corner kick I'm gonna chuck up Florenzi because if we get a favorable ball out we can uh, we can counter Mustafi gets tackled by Kante. Markovic, we can't get to it. Mustafi gets a shot on, and Jack Butland saves. 85 rated. The Englishman, that's a great shot from Mustafi. 87 rated. It's going to be another Arsenal corner kick. If I can get Yuri up here, because if we get a favourable ball out, you can really do some damage on a counter-attack from a corner kick. They play it short. Coquelin puts it back to Suarez. Uh, Suarez keeps it in. All right, we've got this out now. Oh, my God, Mbemba. What the fuck? It looked like he was doing that Gomez um, celebration there, the claw thing. We're going to have it out now. It's cooled down a bit. Messi on the ball. Has Berardi next to him making a great play. Berardi's... Okay. I was trying to feed it back to Berardi, but Ronaldo has his finesse off in the box. I don't blame him for it. Yeah, not the best shot. I was actually going for a... I was going to try and through ball it, but... I just had to kind of rush the shot a bit. Ronaldo puts an amazing ball over the top to Eden Hazard. He's going to have to go all the way for himself, but Mustafi cuts him out. Messi. Back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo pops it over the top to Eden Hazard. That's it. We're 2-1 up against Arsene Wenger's Arsenal. Go on. Celebrate in front of the camera. That was a great goal. That was a great team goal from Newcastle. Eden Hazard with the finish. Berardi, Yuri, and Ronaldo coming to celebrate with him. Check out this ball. Messi to Ronaldo. Nice little on the left roll. Back to the right. Eden Hazard whips it with his left across Peter Cech. And we're 2-0 up against Arsenal. We're playing a lot better against this Arsenal side than we did against Liverpool, especially in the first half. Five league goals Eden Hazard has. And we're pushing for our first Champions League, of course. Danny Welbeck has been playing pretty well on this left-hand side. He's been... Oh, Berardi's intercepted. Right, this is a counter here now. Go, 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 go. Arsenal pushing a couple of players forward. We get some nice one-two passes. It's just really opened them up. Oh, Bellerin with the header finds Mohamed El Nene. And he gets that one clear. Yeah, Danny Welbeck is playing very well in this match, but he's just been unlucky. Danny Welbeck is quite good on FIFA. He's not as injury prone as he is in uh, real life. Messi at the back post there. Okay, we've got the ball back here somehow. Ronaldo with the... S Ooh, it was a foul. Oh, come on. I want the free fucking kick there. Okay, guys, it's currently halftime at St. James's Park. We're 2-0 up from a great Ronaldo header on the counter-attack and a pretty decent Eden Hazard finished. Finish. It was a good piece of uh, team play from Ronaldo and Messi. Uh, Eden Hazard is a bit knackered, and same with Messi. Pretty much my whole team. So we might have to do the substitution. I may, we'll wait a bit. You do get some stamina back from... Uh, going into the tunnel at half time, so we'll probably go at the 60th. So Jack Wilshire and Aaron Ramsey will be coming off the bench. 
Jack Wilshere back from his loan from Bournemouth. This is season three, of course. Joel Campbell on the ball, finds Coquelin, but Jack Butlin gets straight to the hands, and now we're going to have a good counter-attack here. If we can just pass it around a little bit more, Eden Hazard pops it over the top to Messi. Ronaldo has broken away as well. Oh, he's been... Oh, what the fuck is that? <sighs> that was a shit piece of play by me. I tried to feed it just out a bit. It went really far back. Right, like I said, on the 60th, I wanted to make a substitution roughly, so let's do that now. Let's bring on... Let's bring on Hernandez for Ronaldo. We'll bring on... Um... We'll bring off Messi, yeah. We'll bring on John Joe at the cam. Unless there's someone else who will be alright at the cam. No, we've got two defenders. Uh, okay, so Javier Hernandez, Chicharito, uh, Daniel Sturridge, and John Joe Shelby will be making their substitution. Jack Wilshere has Giroud in the box. Wasn't quick enough to get to it in the end. Oh, that's a couple of great bo blocks from Arsenal. We've got it back, though. Danny Welbeck finds Coquelin. Uh, oh my god, what? what? <laughs> How was my defense held there? Come on, we can counter here against Arsenal if we can keep get, just get going. Yep, that's a favorable ball to Eden Hazard. On the counter attack, Javier has just found Eden Hazard. He's exhausted though. He's going to have to play it back to Hernandez. How has he just got? <laughs> How has Hernandez scored that? Makes it 3-0 against Arsenal. That's absurd. On the counter-attack, just before the 81st, Eden Hazard could have gone for the shot, but I don't think he would have gotten it. Cuts back unselfishly. Nutmegs. Okay, that's why. He's nutmegged like Gabriel Palista or someone. I'm not, too, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, that's why. It's because, obviously, that defender was blocking Peter Cech's vision and then nutmegged him. <laughs> that's a great shot by uh, Javier Hernandez, scores his third goal of the Premier League. We're 3-0 up against a pretty solid Arsenal. Once again, Arsenal have, well, a team's left no one at the halfway line, and John Joe, oh, what? Are you kidding me? John Joe would have scored then. Why have they just blown the whistle? Well, maybe I should have actually just gone for the ball. I kind of like locked off it a bit, but we have claimed a phenomenal 3-0 victory over Arsenal. We managed to win 4-0 over Liverpool. We've scored seven goals within two matches. We've scored seven goals within three calendar days. That is nuts. But, guys, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. I'll quickly run through the stats. We had four shots to three. They had four shots to two and more possession. Wow, we just took our chances incredibly well. Who picked up the man of the match? It was Cristiano Ronaldo. With the goal, Hernandez and Eden Hazard as well. Who picked up the assists? Eden Hazard, Ronaldo and De Stiglio. Going off at halftime, we still picked up a 9.4. Eden Hazard with a 9.2. De Stiglio with an 8.7. How many tackles did he win? He won four, that's why. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. If you guys want to get yourselves some cheap and reliable games, maybe even some more Xbox or PSN codes, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Let me know in the comment section down below players you would like me to sign in January because we are just around the January transfer window. Episode 4 is next. And we should have some pretty more exciting matches. We've been doing really well in this Newcastle save. I've been thoroughly enjoying it. So stay tuned for some more Real Madrid, Manchester United and Newcastle United videos on my channel. My name has been Simsy. Take care. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! <laughs> that is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.